What's up everyone, FJ Tech Tips here. We've seen already in the past how much a simple and cheap heat sink on our M.2 drive can help in reducing our temperatures. If you missed that video you can see a graph here or you can check the whole video in the suggested videos here in the upper right corner. Today we are gonna look at a special heat sink, an ARGB one, dedicated to all of you RGB lovers just like myself. So this is the Cool Moon, the model CMM73S, as we can read from here, and I bought it from uh, AliExpress for just two dollars. So you can also find it on Amazon, of course, but the price will be then between fifteen or twenty dollars. I leave the link down below in the description as usual if you guys are interested in the purchase. Anyway, this will work basically with any M.2 2280 SSD unit and with any ARGB motherboard. So your motherboard obviously needs to support the 5V LED strips and then you will be able to control it via your motherboard software for example. I'll be using it with a Sabrent 1TB unit for the test. If you like, uh, you are interested in this drive, you can also check the review in the upper right corner in the uh, suggested videos. So I will try to basically answer the following questions. How does it look like and does it help for the temperatures too? One way to find it out. <laughs> Now let's start with a quick unboxing so you guys can get an idea of what comes with it. We have obviously our Cool Moon unit which has standard dimensions and weights around 150 grams. I'm just afraid about its thickness as I don't have much space due to the huge CPU water block. It is made of ABS which is an impact resistant uh, thermoplastic polymer. Then we have the aluminum body and the heatsink base made of the stainless steel. There is only one connection to our PC and it's obviously the 3 pins ARGB connector. We also get three thermal pads included that will help the heat dissipation and contact of our SSD with the material. We have also some screws included and now we are ready for installing it. I currently have two M.2 drives. I will unmount the top one, the Sabrent 1TB unit which is exactly below my CPU water block. And as you can see here I really don't have any gap at all. We start removing the rubber bands on the previous heat sink. I will remove the plastic protection on the new heat sink. Then I will add the first thermal pad on top and the second thermal pad at the bottom. Even if the sabering unit or lady has is label, which is made of a copper layer, you can also decide to remove it. But since it is made of copper, I decided to stick the thermal pad on top of it, as I did with the previous heat sink. And uh, as we saw last time, the temperature shouldn't be impacted. Always remember to remove all the plastic protections from the thermal pads and the heat sink. Now we align the holes and use our provided screws. Once done we are ready for connecting it to our motherboard using the 5 volts connector as I'm showing up here. In my case as you can see I'm using a 10 to 1 ARGB splitter. I will leave the link down below as usual. Unfortunately I ended up uh, installing the drive in the second M2 slot due to the acrylic CPU water block which uh, basically didn't give me any space since this heat sink is a bit thicker than the previous one. So I'm sorry we can't see it uh, perfectly due to my GPU vertically mounted. And now a quick showcase of the different ARGB lighting effects using the Aura Sync software with my motherboard which is an Asus X570 Tough Gaming.
When comparing the temperatures with the standard heatsink, we can see there is no change at all in the highest temperatures, but the lowest temperatures affect the average temperature, which is higher with the cool moon heatsink. This could also be caused by the fact that the M.2 unit had to be moved from the upper M.2 slot to the lower one. Looking anyway at the performance differences, we also can see that there is no tangible difference. So I have to say that at the beginning I was a little bit skeptical about the dissipation capabilities of this product due to the fact that it is not completely made of metal but we have also obviously the plastic section that is required for the ARGB diffusion lighting. But as we saw there is no tangible difference in my test in terms of temperature so I would be curious anyway if you guys also have some tests you would like to provide to me. If so let me know in the comments below. But in the end, if you like RGB lighting in your PC, I would recommend this product. For just $2 you can get better temperatures and looks. And that's all I have for you today. If you liked the video, please make sure to check out the other related videos in my channel and hit the like and subscribe button for supporting me. Thanks again everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next one.